about a new mod that we have just picked up in the shop. Um, tonight, I want to talk about the Lucky 7 or the Triple 7. Uh, some people are calling it either or. Same thing, great device, and I am particular to it for a few reasons. First, it's made here in Utah, uh, up in Ogden, Utah, from a company there. And it's an affordable, authentic, American-made device, which, which isn't too common. It's, it is becoming more and more common lately. But yeah, let's get into this thing and, and talk about it here. This is the device put together. Uh, you can see it's an all copper tube mod with the brass highlights. Um, my opinion, I've had, my best hitting mods have been copper. I know there's a lot of, you know, debate out there about, you know, the contacts being silver plated, uh, 24 karat gold, whatever it may be. Um, in my, this is my opinion as a vapor. Um, the copper has been the hardest hitting mods that I've, I've hit on. So I, I am enjoying this quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change the angle here real quick so we can get a better look at this guy and show you guys some of the details. All right guys, so let's take an in-depth look here at this device. Again, this is it all put together. Really beautiful mech mod. Uh, we'll take off my 454 big block real quick here. Okay, so as I was talking about, you got the brass highlights up top and at the bottom there and we will talk about this little guy here in a second it's actually a pretty cool little thing and pretty unique from what i've seen in other mech mods and how the how the button works so anyway we'll take this off off here okay so we've got a copper contact there a huge fat one which is awesome um, because obviously no matter the battery you're using you, you've got wide contact here and it's got a little divot and that's gonna allow it to make good proper contact with your battery um, it is a floating pin now the insulator that the floating pin sits in it's actually a pretty tight insulator um, so a lot of people when they're they're screwing their RDAs on here they'll think something's wrong with the threads when they're screwing it on it, there's nothing wrong just you know you can screw that RDA in there that's gonna force that floating pin down which I prefer a tighter fitting uh, floating pin than a loose one that just falls out um, another thing you can do is is take this off here if you can carefully pull that out with your fingers or maybe some rubber tipped vice grips pull that out if you prefer to go that rate route in case you are cross threading your RDA onto the to the lucky seven here um, but floating pin and then also this is adjustable here as you can see too um, to make good contact at all times so love the top there uh, let's take a look at the bottom solid copper tube nice uh, so let's yeah let's talk about this button here real quick uh, really smooth I mean it's it is it's really smooth and it is spring loaded which I personally have preferred lately uh, we'll see if I can't get this out here really quick so I can show you the show you what that little copper dot at the bottom is and again like I said it is pretty unique uh, from what I've seen in other mech mods there we go so this is the spring and guys I have been using this the last three weeks and it has seen some mean builds some builds I probably shouldn't be running because uh, they're definitely not safe but uh, I can replace that that's no big deal I can fix that spring no problem um, but yeah if you look down here that copper contact on the bottom button goes all the way through which I think is awesome and, and I don't know this I like I said I've had some mean builds on here and I have never once had this switch get hot on me. And I don't know if it's because that contact goes all the way through um, or what it is, but honestly, it has not gotten hot. And I, like, I'm talking 0.03 ohm builds uh, where that switch hasn't gotten hot. So maybe some of you more savvy people out there have an understanding of why that might be. Um, and if you, if you do know, go ahead and, and post it in the comments below in the video. But we'll get this guy back together here uh, so we can continue on with the review. All right guys, so that was the in-depth look at the Lucky 7. I apologize if the lighting was a little off. Um, I need to get some, some lamps or something so that I can fix that so it looks better for the next review. Um, take a couple of rips, like I said. 
Tonight I'm using the Tiger's Blood from Tronic. Uh, this is a line exclusive to our shop. Um, it will be on the website really soon and it is good stuff. Let's just check this RDA here, make sure she's juiced up. Looks good. So we'll give it a couple of rips and, and show you how she performs. Uh, this is probably on a three quarters charge battery. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Performs great, and like I said, you know, in my personal experience, I've had the best luck, most hard hitting mods with copper. And that's just me. Everybody has opinions, and everybody's gonna form their own opinion, and that's what's cool about vaping. You know, there's so many different devices that you can get into and find something that's gonna fit and suit your needs. So, anyway, guys, uh, running on the 454 big block real quick, we'll show you the build. I'm actually running a quad coil on there. I know it's a little tricky to see. Um, been really actually enjoying this build. I normally don't like quads, but this one I've got to where I like it. So yeah, if you have questions, guys, find us on Facebook. We're on Instagram posting new stuff. We get stuff daily. Um, look for these on the website um, at www.peakvapor.com. I will put that up after this video here and have a great day, guys. Enjoy it.